recommend if you want to be somewhere where you want to just chill, decompress, unwind, and just truly relax. This is definitely a good resort for that. It's very zen. And then even when it comes to the eating, it's clean eating because it's vegan um, and very healthy, well, like freshly made things. So it's for me because I am, you know, Someone who likes to try to stay healthy, this checks all the boxes. So, highly recommend it. But yeah, now I'm on my pool. And this is a hammock I'm gonna chill on. And I think I'm just gonna watch some reality TV and unwind. And then, point today, I'm gonna go to the pool. Um, and then, <clears throat> probably go on a hike. I'm only probably going to go on the one. I don't think I want to go on the other because the other, <clears throat> again, I have to know the five front desk. If I want to do the other one just because, um, yeah, you're not supposed to, because I'm solo dolo. It's kind of one of those hikes, I guess. And since it's been raining, I'm a little iffy about it too because if it's by the river, that means it's probably going to be a little bit more slick and I don't want to be stranded out there. So there's that. Anyway, um, yeah, I have something in my teeth. I just realized that after I was talking, but a little too late. Um, because I just got the name breakfast, like, like I just said, so there's that. Um, but yeah, it's chilled. I'm gonna zen out here, and then tomorrow I'm gonna head to San Juan and turn up. So I'm chilling, trying to get the immune system completely back in order, and then... San Juan, we're turning up. And then after that, then we out of here. So, um, I did not do yoga like I said I was going to do today. I might do it tomorrow morning. Probably. I probably will, actually. Because um, I feel like I just need one good yoga session from an instructor. And I might as well do it with it, with it being complimentary. So, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, other than that, though... I'm just going to enjoy this nice weather. I mean, I had a beach day already yesterday. I kind of had a beach day the day before that, too. So I had two beach days. And then I'm going to be in San Juan. I think I am going to do a snorkeling deal. So, yeah, I might do that. I'm either going to do the snorkeling deal or I'm going to, I don't know, I have a couple of options of what I might go with. So it's either going to be snorkeling or it just might be like a tour, like a, a tour tour, like to go to the um, rum tour. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a rum tour. And then I do need to try to see if I can find a couple more breweries um, just because that is near and dear to the heart. And now I'm trying to sit in this hammock and I don't want to bust my face when I try to sit in the hammock. It's a whole entire process when you're tall like me. Okay, we're on it. And then now I just need to widen it out while I'm on here. <laughs> and we're in it. Um, but yeah. I'm pretty excited about the rest of this trip. I'm going to be relaxing. I'm just going to chill. I'm going to vibe it out. Yeah. Yeah, this is still not quite healed yet, um, so just disregard that. But it's getting there, and then this is, uh, it's it's almost healed. I just the scab, there is a scab there, and there's just like there's a scab here. So, the, but all the stuff that was in it is gone, so it's dried out. So, the toothpaste, I'm telling you, the toothpaste trick works every time. Um, side note, I totally got like a bug bit me in the eye yesterday, not in the eye, but like right near my eye on this side. So I can feel it and it's been sore, um, but it's not noticeable, thank God. 
it was definitely like a mosquito, but um, yeah, all the places bug spray was not at, which was my face. It went right to my face, but that's okay. Um, that happens every now and again. I think it entered through my sunglasses because that's usually how that happens. But anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I don't know if I did a recap of yesterday at all. Let me do a recap of yesterday um, and then I'll, we'll go from there. Yeah. So I love how much this is literally like an adult hammock. It's an adult size because it's so big. Like I'm way up in it. <laughs> but um, recap of yesterday. Yes, I'm wearing my bikini. Well, it's not even quite a bikini, it's a one piece, but, um, child, I need to redo this. Okay, okay. so, yes, yeah, somewhere in my bikini, but, also, random side note, I feel like I'm literally one of the only people that loses weight on vacation. I don't gain weight with vacation, I lose weight. Um, especially this vacation, this has been a vacation where I've relieved so much stress. <clears throat> And most of the weight that I've put on was stress related. So, yeah, being super healthy. Haven't really been as active this time around as I normally am, but I don't think that was in the cards this time around, clearly. Um, but yeah, so let's recap yesterday. Kind of sidetracking a little bit. Side note, one more side note though. This hammock is such an adult size hammock, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, recap of yesterday. So, I got up yesterday, um, and I was in um, Raton. And um, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. I probably need to check the pronunciation of that again. Um, and I ate my leftover breakfast from the day before because the breakfast I had at that coffee shop the day before was an omelet but it was like huge and it had like um, queso and um, there's dairy and I'm not a dairy girl per se but I still I still partake it because I know that's kind of a thing here and like in Latin American culture is you know cheese they like their cheese um so but and it's usually pretty like freshly made cheese. So anyway, I decided to have it and it was fine. Um, probably didn't help with like my sinuses or mucus though. That's the only thing about it. Cause I'm just like, this is a time of all the times I really should be avoiding dairy. But <laughs> anyway, but it didn't give me any lactose intolerant issues. So that there's that. So that's usually the main reason why I don't do dairy. Cause I'm definitely lactose intolerant. But anyway, so from there, I decide to go to, um, like, I, I pretty much tried to, I got out of my Airbnb probably an hour before I needed to. So it was the direct opposite of my Airbnb from before, where I was, like, racing the clock to get out of there on time. This time, I got out of there on time. And, plus, I felt a thousand times better. Um, and from there, I went to, um... I think it's called Black Eagle Beach to check out people surfing. Um, there was a slight overcast, so I didn't go in the water. Um, and then I also saw a lighthouse. I actually saw like two lighthouses yesterday, I think. Did I see two lighthouses? I might have saw two lighthouses. I don't remember. You'll see in the pictures if I saw two or not. I think a total on this trip, I've seen a total of four lighthouses so far. Yeah. For those who don't know, I kind of have a weird obsession with lighthouses. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, there's two things I'm kind of oddly obsessed with. They're man-made. They're man-made structures. So, lighthouses is one. Because I like how it leads people onto shore. So, I like the functionality of it. And I like the idea that it's leading. Like, to me, a lighthouse is kind of symbolic. And I also do appreciate the effort and hard work that goes into building a lighthouse because a lot of people usually especially the older lighthouses people died making those lighthouses like a lot of people um because clearly if there's a need for the lighthouse that water's dangerous <laughs> so there's that and it's hard for people to see the shore so yeah i appreciate i basically respect the whole thing behind a lighthouse 
So that's why I love high lighthouses. And they're usually, um, they're pretty beautiful structures. Um, I love that. And the other thing is too, I love that now all the functioning like, well, not all, most functioning lighthouses today and age are automated because that's the other reason why a lot of people die with the lighthouses because they used to not be. And some of the lighthouses to get in and out of, um, historically have been dangerous to get in and out of too, just because there are some lighthouses that are just randomly in the middle of something, but there's really no land around it. And <laughs> as creepy that is, I just, I, I just, that's one of those things I'm just like, how did men do this? How do people do this? Like, I don't know. It's just, it, it blows me away. Um, and then the other thing um, that I'm commenting too, but I'm not going to go into much detail or bridges because it brings people together. <laughs> but I do love bridges. Um, even bridges I'm scared of being on, I like them. And um, even what happened recently in Baltimore, that's scary. But like, because I, okay, let me, let me take a step back. Bridges, I don't like driving on them, but I like running on them. Um, so ideally everything is closed so I can run on it. <laughs> I know that's not reality, but anyway, that's kind of what I like when it comes to that. But, um, yeah, so anyway, lighthouses, I saw that yesterday. Um, I went to actually like two beaches yesterday. Um, cause then the other one I went to was in, um, Aquadilla. Um, Aquadilla, uh, is where I saw a former lighthouse is in ruins. Um, and I think I had, I made a video about that. So you saw that earlier. Cause I'm, I'm not even sure what order I'm going to build or edit these videos. Haven't quite figured it out yet. Um, because of all the vlogging that I've done, for traveling this is probably the most detailed I've done in a while um this is more way more detailed than the Vegas trip and the Sedona trip because I wasn't able to really go anywhere um and then Birmingham I didn't really do much when it came to that so this is yeah definitely the more detailed one I've done um trying to think what else would did I do Oh, I was originally supposed to go to a restaurant in um, Larnos, and I couldn't remember if Larnos was the city where the cartel is like at or not, but when I got to the, where the restaurant was, I saw it just looked, it didn't look or feel right, so I was like, let me just keep going, so I didn't even go to the restaurant. I ended up finding, um, I got out of that town, I got way out of that town. And I made sure that I found McDonald's <laughs> and I went to the restroom because that was the other reason why I wanted to like hurry up and sit down because I had to use the restroom pretty badly. Um, so I just found a McDonald's, went to the restroom, got up out of there, and then kept it pushing and got here. Um, because from um, Aquadilla, this is about, took about two hours to get here. It was not um, a fast trip. And that was. I, even though I was kind of beat, make, taking the scenic route, I really wasn't. Um, oh yeah, I did stop also at Aquadita to get um, coffee. Um, just regular, like, latte. It was like a um, s'more latte. And Aquadita is a little different than a lot of the other cities um, in Puerto Rico. Kind of similar to San Juan, honestly, because there's like a... Um, there's an Air Force base right there. Like a... So it's very, it's kind of Americanized. So even when I was talking to someone, the, the person who was making my coffee and stuff, she thought I was from there. Because I I don't think she thought I was Puerto Rican. I think she just thought I was like from there just because it's like a Navy base. I think it's a Navy base. It's, it's a military base. We'll just say that. Because um, I can't remember if it was Navy, National Guard, or um, Air Force. Um, but anyway... So, but there's a lot of Americans are there um, that live there. Um, cause I heard someone like blasting a little, like the baby. I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> that was the first time I've, like this whole entire time I've been here that I've heard someone that was blasting American music besides me. Um, 
and I haven't really been blasting it that much. Like, I've been mainly listening to Bad Bunny, because <laughs> I love me some Bad Bunny, and I wanted to, like, get into the feeling of being here, so I was like, the Bud Bunny. Um, but anyway, um, trying to think what else. Yeah, it was just a lot of driving yesterday, because I got here around, um, 4.30, and then once I got here at 4.30, it took me a little bit to settle in. Um, the lady at the front desk has so much information. And I feel bad because I retained like half of it and not the other half. Um, fortunately, in my room, there was a pamphlet. Yeah, fortunately, in my room, there was a pamphlet of some of the things that she said. But some of the other things, I'm just kind of like... Because also, too, I do need to go to her because I think she charged my card twice. Um, not the end of the world, but... It's just like a deposit thing. That I'm just like, okay, I think she might charge it twice, so I'm gonna ask questions on that. Um, and then the other thing, because also I need to go back to her and ask about the trail, because she said all that. And mind you, when I checked in at 4:30, I haven't had lunch yet, so I was still super hungry. I was tired. I was ready to get settled in. I was ready to just get my bags in my room and chill. Um, I didn't take, I didn't even take a shower yet because I was thinking, I was debating if I was going to go in the pool or not, but I found out that dinner, there's, you have to do reservations for dinner, um, which I, which, cool, not a big deal. So I booked the reservation for like pretty much, um, like an hour and a half after I got there. So my reservation's at six and same thing for today. I booked both reservations in a row. So I was like, let me just book them both for the same time. So I don't have to worry about doing that again. Um, so yeah, um, the other thing that I, um, so yeah, it took a while for me to get settled in and then I was just really kind of like impressed by how everything was and how everything looked, but mind you too, it was raining on and off yesterday too. So getting here was a little bit more of an effort also because of that, because it was raining on and off and this is like up in the mountains, um, Again, just in case you forgot what the... This is what I'm dealing with. Okay. It is Vegetation Mountain Central, which is dope. So, anyway. That is the other thing, was that. Um, trying to think what else. Um, oh, I had the dinner, and after that, then I talked to my parents. I talked to my parents a lot yesterday. <laughs> so I talked to them while I was at the beach, um, the first beach, the um, Black Eagle Beach. Um, I didn't go to the other surfer beach that um, my, um, cla my former classmate um, recommended, but I did go to Black Eagle Beach because he recommended that too. Um, so I know I use a lot of his recommendations because he was one of the few people that I talked to that's been to Puerto Rico that has been other places other than San Juan. Um, I'm kind of overloaded when it comes to all the ideas to do things in San Juan in that area, but no one had ideas of things to do like on the west side of the island except for him. He was like literally the only one, but it's because he used to live here, um, cause he's former military. So, um, <clears throat> well, I think he still is in the military, but he was based, he was like based here for a while. Um, and yeah, I think he still kind of considers this his home. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so then the other thing that, um, I was going to do, oh, I also was talking to someone else too. I might be sharing a story time with that later much later um because yeah <laughs> um yeah I don't think I want to go into detail more about that um not yet <laughs> not yet not yet not yet you can tell I'm getting get over it but anyway so um besides that I just went in my room and relaxed and 
after I had the dinner and took a shower, went to my room, relaxed. Um, tried to make sure bugs didn't get on me because um, I'm kind of basically staying like kind of like in a it's like a cross between like a a cabin and like a treehouse type situation because it's up top. So yeah. If you're not really, really into nature, do I would not recommend coming here. But if you're really, really into nature and the noise of nature, and you kind of like glamping, yeah, this is a good spot. Because um, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I am a clamper. I do like to glamp. Uh, like I like nature, but not too much on it. <laughs> you know, I'm like one of those. But anyway, so that was pretty much a recap of everything yesterday and then today. I woke up. Um, well, I did not sleep well last night. It was, it did take me a while to go to sleep last night, but it was also because I was talking to someone. Um, but then also I just was not, my allergies were kind of getting on my nerves because of the raining on and off, um, the, the mold, um, mold was molding and I forgot, I didn't realize it until yesterday that I did not do, I haven't done my eye drops in like three days. I was like, oh do your eye drops because I brought the eye drops I just forgot to do like I didn't do them like the whole entire second Airbnb I forgot I completely forgot about them um because I my allergies weren't that bad over there because I was by it, it wasn't that bad um I I guess I don't I guess I couldn't remember if it was but yesterday last night when I went to me trying to go to sleep I was like okay my allergies are pretty bad right now um so I went ahead and just like did eye drops and then finally I was able to go to bed and, um, yeah, I got about seven hours of sleep. It just wasn't uninterrupted sleep, so that was kind of annoying. Um, but then this morning I woke up, got myself together, got my things in order, and then went, um, and had breakfast. And the breakfast is buffet style, and it's, again, vegan, so, um, the pictures that I show you are, that's what that was. It was a breakfast, and it was very good, very filling. Um, and, but I still feel light at the same time. And that's like my favorite kind of eating where like I'm full, but I don't feel like, ugh. That's one, that, that, side note, that is one of the reasons why I became pescatarian. Um, well, vegetarian plus, cause child, I have time and I don't even eat fish either. Um, <laughs> but that's why, because I just don't like that feeling of just like fullness. It, it's annoying. Um. But I like to eat a lot. So I like to eat a whole bunch of like meals, but then just like don't feel full. Like I like to feel like, okay, I'm good, but like not like that heaviness that you have when you eat a lot of meat. Um, or, yeah, just isn't my jam. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how things have been going. Um, this is getting on my nerves. I just wish this this would just heal so it could go away. Um, the scab is getting on my nerves. Um, but anyway, that's it for now. Across the pavement, who